So today we're gonna have to take a look at driver booster. I haven't have to take a look at this until this ad on the bottom right corner popped up. So when I go ahead and open up task manager, we have seen, we have seen that SPE pop us probably pop up as FRM set main has been open. And as you can see, it is actually this window on the bottom right. We're going to find out if this actually is. And I'm going to edit the writing. So I'm going to go edit the lower elements window. Anyway, back to this. Booster has now been doing is now running push ads even on pro users, which I'm going to go proof right now. This is, as you can see, this actually is a pro account right here, and now they're running ads on you, which again makes next to no sense that like literally a sale on items action center they literally have. Just look at this. Screen Recorder Pro, OBS does the same thing. I thought PDF could be replaced with, for example, Microsoft Edge or Adobe. Adobe is kind of paid, but I mean, better than using this one at least. And this literally is overpriced, think about it per month. I don't even think it's any faster than what I'm using right now. System care, think about it, you can actually just grab yourself deep freeze and do it on a clean, clean computer and have everything to the cloud as such. You can also just keep using separate PCs as needed. Literally. And, AL, and uh, ALMEI even came here and also put the listing right here too. Which again, I don't blame them, but it's not them. But they gotta get, get here somewhere so people can actually go grab, the, grab, grab themselves some upgrades before we we'll actually look to push the suits from here. Oh wow, connectivity by hotspot could also be replaced with OS hotspot free, whatever it's called. And it does the same job. And then you have the malware fighter, literally, and even a data recovery, which separate tools usually do better at. I'm not even I'm not even gonna test that. This literally. So right here, as you can see, this is a this is on a workstation, which is do which is probably due back to them if I'm not even able to renew it in like two days from now. So this is a good place to leave this running the whole the whole summer and show that this exists by chance that I'm actually doing that I'm actually on here at six something AM so So what we're gonna do is we right click this, open the file location, guess where it goes to help it, yeah, driver booster, the latest version and I'll plug and it leads to this file right here, spepoppers.exe, which is literally shown right here. And all it does is literally pops up an ad, as you can see right here. So I'm going to go quickly just show you that even if I have this on, have Game Boost on, it's going to terminate Task Manager, not the, and not this box right here. Now I'm really gonna, I'm not, I, I believe it's not even shown here. Literally. Makes no sense. Okay, so if I do turn on a game boost, it's gonna either close task manager, yeah, it does close the task manager, makes the screen brighter, that's all it does. And it releases the random stuff. Yeah, but in fact, gamers 
should not see ads like this, even on, especially on a pro account. So I'm going to just turn this off, pop myself Task Manager open again. Now what I'm going to do, there's no way to actually disable ads on this. Let me just show you right here. Literally no way to disable the, the bottom ads. Guess too many people go ahead and find some free pro IO fit or something. So that's the bad sign that they gonna have to stop running these now. But here's a way how to fix it. So let me show you. This is super easy. First, all you have to do is first see this. Let me show you guys actually this. See? So this thing right here, let me show you how to fix that. So now all you have to do, close this box if you have not already. Right click here, click on settings, click on apps, click on this, uninstall, press uninstall, you can ask for it, press yes. You just check all these because nobody needs that, press yes. I'm going to just be looking at this folder. As you can see, that file instantly disappeared. So now, all I need to do now is literally press this button right here. And there you go. Now the ad is, won't pop up again because the file is gone. So, that's how you easily fix this. As you can see, you can clearly see that I have a pro license, which I literally uninstalled the program, including the license on the PC, but don't worry, this license, you can easily find it online, it's called a giveaway license, seriously though, I'm not even going to show you, show you, show you the code, or even, it's, even if it says giveaway or pro, because it's just ionic, that I'll be literally mentioned pro on this application, and started running ads on their system, which technically, We have to actually go ahead and figure out what application is doing that. Just to figure out that is a potentially unwanted program. So, if you now need to go grab your drivers for your, P for your computer, as of this point, honestly, you should be starting to use cloud computing at this point, and you actually need some drivers. You can probably check out your manufacturer's website or I don't know, use a better tool that doesn't run ads. So go ahead and just take care.